Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this video, I'm going to further explore the sphere choc um, add-on in Blender. Um, I've talked in a previous video um, about array and how you could kind of uh, recreate that using sphere choc. And I also kind of mentioned about structure scenes. That's kind of the idea is similar to that, but structure scenes have um, additional um, kind of a, a system where you can uh, create some kind of rules and then and it's gonna generate um, 3d structure um, but I'm going to show you there's one node in spread that I actually missed until today and that's called um, iterate matrix um, I don't know how I missed this node until today, but it's probably it was probably added at some point by Spreadshock developer. So there you go. That's the name of the node. It's rate matrix transformations. These actually behave more or less like a like array modifier in Blender. Um, let's say we start with a just a box that we created in Spreadshock. Okay. I don't know why, but uh, Spreadshock tends to crash when I when I do that. I don't know why. Just gonna restart Blender. Uh, maybe I have two Blenders open. Uh, no, don't worry. Okay. Create a box and by default the box will create a box obviously a box with a size of one unit which is a uh, one meter in blender um, scale anyhow um, let's plug this into the vertices and polygon this is going to be the input for our iterate matrix transformation and in order to see something, we probably need to increase the iterations. Uh, cannot see anything yet. I will plug this and this. And perhaps the matrix as well. Now we don't seem to see anything. Um, I think we need to also provide the input matrix. So now we have something and we have three iterations if i bake this now i believe we have uh, three four we actually have four objects mm, probably it's a uh, it's adding the first object as well i don't know let's uh let's investigate factor in i have not actually used this node until today let's um do the x let's uh, give like a one in x now we have one two three four five six seven uh, kind of wondering why it's giving seven but maybe i have a feeling that i shouldn't plug the matrix into this guy uh, but if i want to output it um, as a real object, like uh, using mk2, mk3, bmesh, mk2. If I want to actually output it as a real object right away, then I can plug in the matrix. Um, no, actually, I don't need the matrix. So that's one, two, three, four. That's three times iterations from the original. This is the original and three copies. I guess we don't. Maybe I shouldn't plug in the matrix. And for now, I'm just gonna do it like this. So delete everything. I don't have anything in the scene. It's just a kind of matrix, um, like a spread chalk viewer, like a ghosted um, 3D object. Doesn't have anything in the in the scenes. 
I can always bake it and I can see I have a like a result here okay uh, let's, let's continue with this um, kind of a uh, array thing so this is very really interesting this is just like a uh, the array thing we can of course do something with the scale if we plug in um, let's try I plug this into the scale I start with a uh, 111 if I make the scale smaller, like a uh, 0.9, and it's gonna get smaller and smaller, and I can make iterations, and this is really cool. This is exactly like um, more or less. This is just like the the structured scenes. Um, maybe the Eisen Eisen script does a little bit more, of course, with the rules and randomizations, but this iterate metric transformations can be really really powerful um, I don't know I don't know it yet but you can also give it a try uh, let's say this is with a scaling um, of course I can perhaps make the Y go smaller faster than the other axis and we get this kind of look um, let's see if I'm actually increasing that guy so, so the nice thing about this is we can see the result right away and this is really really powerful if I do like a 0.8 or 0.9 I know that at some point it gets uh, like really small and we can't see the objects anymore and it can it can also uh, Kind of heavy so i have to be careful uh, let's try keep the iteration low and i'm gonna probably hide the vertices hide the edges turn on the shading okay let's uh play around with this so we have the the box and the polygon so that's the input objects and we have this guy let's try the rotation as well um, let's see one so one zero zero it's gonna rotate in the in the x-axis kind of way and plug in the angle float see it's actually doing a spin because it's a uh, now it's rotating in the in the x-axis if I change the this uh, rotation axis into another one like a uh, that's in the I believe that's in the Y it's not like updating unless um, I'm turn on the playback and let's see there you go that's a kind of interact interactivity that I want so this can be really really handy um, if I increase the angle in the Y say this is what we get kind of like a spiraling kind of structure let's save this as a new file um, I can increase the iteration and of course that we get that's what we get um, the interesting thing is I think if we provide multiple kind of data because this is fair chalk and it does this uh, kind of a magic magical thing underneath kind of uh, I don't know how to explain it but if you provide multiple lists of data it's gonna kind of unwrap it and then it's gonna generate more and more objects um, let's try it with the rotations or maybe I should try with the location first let's try line so I have two lines and that's what I get if I so that's just a two vertices whoa you see you see how this can get quite heavy really quickly 
I'm providing two vertices and with, with the distance of one it's gonna give me this maybe if I make how is the best way to see this three gonna give us these three lines give us so many um, Yeah, it can be can be quite unpredictable. If I try random vector, so one give us that iteration of let's say five get smaller faster. One give us that sometimes this is a I don't know it's quite abstract at the moment but it's also what the nice thing about it is a uh, it's also very visual and you can change the parameter quite easily here so changing the seed actually affect the final result this is me just changing the seed of the location. Um, so because it's behaving more like an array, um, let's see if we if we actually plug this random into into the the rotations, what's gonna happen? and give a count of 10 so 10, I don't know how many objects I'm gonna have maybe I have like 100 objects being generated kind of a... I should have not given it like a too large of value this might actually take a while I'm gonna create another another blender Still processing. Okay, I get a result now. That's kind of uh, dangerous. Uh, I'll bake it. I hope it doesn't crash, but I'm gonna. Wait a little bit. I think it's using all the memories at this moment. Okay, we're done. I should just uh, delete this. I shouldn't have done that with a with a ten counts. That's uh, generating how many? Let me hide this and check it on the outliner. So we have this object, this single object, and if I scale it. It's actually saying eight 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 vertices. If I 
goes inside it. Six hundred sixty-six thousand six hundred sixty-six. Oh, that's a lot of objects. It's got. Well, let's do that again with the random rotations. But I know I should give it a smaller number. Do that now. Um, maybe I can do something with the Z. Okay, that that could be interesting. Um, if I generate a six iteration, and I'll do a random vector thing, but just count of two yeah two actually give me that it's almost like a <coughs> generating like a plant or l3 system uh, point eight so it gets smaller shades so that's what we get apparently just iteration of just a two give us give us so many objects already. Maybe we can give it a like a random rotations on the angle. Although I'm afraid uh, it's gonna also generate a lot of results. Let's try it anyway. Um, rotation, okay. Get three, plug into that guy. Well, it's actually more manageable. Let's remap this random. Count three old mean, old max, and new mean, and new max. That's kind of that's better, although okay, that's actually uh, giving me. Like a different rotations, but not doing it for each one of them. I think count of one, nothing, two, three, four, five, six, nothing, iteration. Kind of wonder if I should do uh, should do like a line instead of generating cube, maybe generate lines. It's gonna be interesting. So obviously you're not limited to using cube. You can use other like a line, a plane, like a circle, cylinder. But I'm I'm kind of curious. On on this thing. So what? Wait, wait, this I didn't expect that, but three sixty kind of giving me that. It's almost like a fractal kind of design. Increasing the count doesn't do anything, but randomizing the seed kind of. <laughs> giving a random result Just 
very interesting. Maybe I do one more. So one more count is probably gonna generate a lot, a lot of these objects. We need a way to kind of count how many objects generating. So maybe three by three by three. Maybe a lot more, but that's kind of super interesting. Uh, randomize the seed. So that's still that's still manageable. I wonder if I use the monkey head and then iterate over it. What I will get? Well, I'm not gonna do that. I think. Yeah, I think that's a good uh, number of objects. Let's create less. I need a way to calculate this, maybe get length. Length. List length. Get the number of metrics. So 364. That's probably how many objects it's actually generating. If I have two, I have 63 and then three. So the iterations, really the number we should be careful of, but this is still still pretty fast. So we don't have we don't need too many. We don't need a big number there. I'm kind of curious. Oh, what if we use a line? Really? Um, should I do that? Maybe I should just leave it here. And I'm gonna experiment more with this uh, iterate matrix transform. Uh, but this is a yeah, this is kind of a like a quick demo of this uh, iterate matrix transformations. So it's a little bit like array modifier, but it it does something more. Uh, maybe I don't know if it's a bug or it's by design. It's uh, it's really iterating over all the metrics, and we have. We already have like 2047 objects here. So be careful with the number, but uh, you can experiment with this node. It's really, seems to be really powerful. It's kind of, it's not L system, it's not ASIN script, like structure scenes, but this is, could be a way to generate structure, complex structure really easily. It's almost like a fractal. And anyway, um, I'm gonna leave it there and thanks again for tuning in to the Blender Sushi channel. Um, give comments and show me your works really. Um, show me what you do with this and I'd love to see what you come up with. Okay, uh, thanks again.